What are y'all doing with this dating bullshit? Now I'm finding myself terrified to date. I don't even know where to start. I don't know how to do it and do it in a healthy way. We're f***ing this all up. Fast forward, it's literally been years. Still alone. So I need y'all to like get it together. I would love to love men. I do want to find my person though. I really do. Hoping he'll just fall out of the sky. We're all going to end up single. We're dying alone. <laughs> Women. <laughs> gentlemen welcome back to another episode of single mothers who happen to really like being in relationships not enough to not break off their previous marriage but you get the idea so let's get started with this one and let's see what she has to say what are you bringing to this I ain't no waitress, I'm bringing nothing. Me for myself, I work a nine to five. I'm a single mother. I take care of my kid. I pay my own bills. But that's everything that you do for yourself. What are you bringing to the table as far as a relationship? You're an adult. Everything you listed is you just being a human adult. So I expect you to be independent. Just like I'm independent. Ace is independent. Jew is independent. We do everything for ourselves. Like a lot of women's personality trait is that I'm strong, independent, and don't need no man. Of course, that's not showing me anything that you could offer a long-term situation. So if I rephrase the triggering statement of what are you bringing to the table in a more acceptable way, it would sound like this. So as a woman, what attributes do you possess that would improve our relationship and improve my life? What are you bringing to the table? And because a lot of women have been conditioned to believe that their worth and value is directly predicated on how much money she makes, how much she owns, what kind of degree she has, when you ask them this question, those are the type of responses that you get. And that's not what you bring to the table as a woman. It has taken me years to understand my value and the significance of my energy and aura as a woman. So now if someone was to ever ask me that question, here is how I would answer. Yeah, I own a business and I own a home, but those are not my greatest assets. My greatest assets is that I understand sacrifice, hard work. I understand commitment. I understand financial literacy and the importance of building a legacy and starting generational wealth. My mindset mm -hmm. is what got me the things that I have. That's an asset. The world is hard enough, so I have really worked hard to be a positive energy in the world. That is what I bring to a relationship. When you are out fighting the world, I want you to enjoy coming home. I want to be your peace and your comfort. I want to be the person that speaks life into you. The world is tearing you down, but I'm here to build you back up. Two heads are better than one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Those are things that I live by every day. So I understand that I need to be in a relationship for me to create the lifestyle that I want for my family. So understanding that we are better together than apart, that's what I bring to a relationship. Yeah, I cook and clean and I know how to make a house a home, but I do it out of love. So I'm able to feed my family love from the inside out when they eat my food. When okay, guys, I'm going to stop her right there. Yeah. There's no need for it to sound like a thesis or something, but, uh, you know, she she's half right. I mean, it, it, I don't think, guys, like from my experience, feel free to disagree in the comments below, but uh, I don't think that this question of what do you bring to the table was ever necessary to men. Uh, this is something that women uh, fantasize about and they like to think about what does this man bring to the table you know how does this man improve my life because uh, that's the way women think they like to think about improvement about different assets and abilities and whatever not it, it, men usually don't think about that and that is the reason why you could have a, a multi-millionaire guy uh dating a, a cashier you know because men don't it, they don't think about improvement this, this is the misconception that this woman has. She's thinking it through her female brain, you know, but men really don't care about improvement. I mean, at least all the people I've met in my life, I've never heard or seen anyone think or care about how a woman will improve his life. It's just about sharing. I mean, you know, feel, again, feel free to disagree, guys, but 
uh, I think that men just want to share. They don't necessarily want to improve uh, financially or emotionally or psychologically, etc. It's not about pushing the limits. Um, it's about just sharing experiences, you know, complementing each other, you know, just living together. So, uh, but at least she's right about the things she mentioned. You can have a career as a woman. Uh, you, you can have, uh, you know, your own house. Uh, you can pay your own bills. And, you know, I will applaud you for that. Good job. You know, if you have a career, congratulations. Uh, but it's not something that men care about when jumping into a relationship. Y you can be a billionaire woman. I if you don't have what it takes to be a good partner, nobody will care for whatever you own. And that's a fact. And so in resume, guys, uh, it's really not hard to answer the, ca the, the question of, you know, what do I bring to the table? It's not a question in the first place that men cared about. It's something that came up uh, with women having so much standards and men asking in return, okay, you ask so much, uh, what do you bring in return? It's a question that is asked uh, when a woman possesses absolutely nothing other than sometimes her looks, you know? So this is why it's become such a meme. But essentially, Men don't want improvement. They don't want assets. In resume, the only thing they want is a good personality. And if you follow that with a, you know, with a good-looking uh, physique, it, extremely good, uh, you know, combo. Uh, but with the good personality comes the loyalty. With the good personality comes the respect. Uh, with respect comes, you know, good conversations, uh, good problem, uh, you know, resolving. It, it, it's all linked to just being a good person wanting to be a good girlfriend and wife but let's end this tiktok guys when you come home and you sense the energy that that house has been taken care of with love that's what i bring to the table i want to be welcoming to you that's what i bring to the table you ain't gonna get that everywhere what are y'all doing with this dating bullshit we're f***ing this all up we're all gonna end up single <laughs> We're dying alone, bro. <laughs> like, we're just... Stop! You're gonna call your friends with benefits on your deathbed. And they're still gonna ghost you. And then you're gonna ghost them. Um, I'd Stop! love to be a lesbian, but <clears throat> all I can think about is I can't put my mouth on a baby shooter. Okay? So I need y'all to, like, get it together. I would love to love men. But also... I don't know if I can get past using YouTube to fix shit. Pathetic. You know what? I actually like that um, she asked this question because this is something I don't really talk about on this channel much. Obviously, you guys have seen like my co-parenting attempts and me and my daughter's dad doing our best at that. But other than that, I've never really talked about like dating on my platform. I'm the type of broad who's always had a man, like long-term relationships, not like little short ones. I'm talking like my first boyfriend ever, five years. Second one was Bobby got pregnant. Third boyfriend dated for almost three years. So I was in long-term relationships my entire life and didn't really know how to be alone until the end of COVID when I finally got away from my abusive ex, which was not Bobby, by the way. I was like clueless and it was really important for me to spend some time alone. Fast forward, it's literally been years, still alone. Now I'm finding myself terrified to date. I don't even know where to start. I don't know how to do it and do it in a healthy way. I'm flat out terrified. I do want to find my person though. I really do. Hoping he'll just fall out of the sky. That is not going to happen. Kind of a short one. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you guys and hear your opinion about what do you think? You know, in, in contrast, when we put the two first women that I didn't even comment on because uh, <laughs> I think guys, those videos are self-explanatory. Uh, you can just watch them and get the idea that you wouldn't date those two women, uh, you know, for the whole world. They, they can't pay you enough to date or commit to, the, uh, to those two first women. Uh, and then we get this third one. So what are your thoughts, guys, about bringing things to the table, about women, uh, about dating? Leave them down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to see you next time. Have a good one.